niggas already know, man. DNA to PG Killer, one six of that NWA. Right now we on the bar structure. What's up, man? Y'all watching the bar structure? This is your boy Loso, Mr. Jump the Top 10 from the bullpen tryout. Yo, sorry, nigga. Shout out bar structure. Yeah, yeah. It is the Kid Cortez, Brooklyn, Murder Ass Gang. Right now you're pulled into the bar structure. You're ugly. You already know what it is, K-Shot, man, 169 NWX, we'll get tip them up. So shout out to the bar structure, man, you already know what it is, man, salute. John John John, bullpen over bullshit. Shout out to the bar structure, man, you already know, man, it's going down. Sean TZ, man, bullpen battle league. And you know I got a the bar structure, right? Because they, hey, if you ain't got your street structure, why you ain't built no foundation? You feel me? The bar structure, structure, the ball is not about having balls, it's how you structure them shits. So use them shits right. Team Honda, you are. Yo, what's the deal, world? And we are back with another episode of The Bar Structure. It's your man, Taz Bailey. And today is part two of these Kills Confirmed 2 reviews. We about to get into Sniper versus Holmesy the guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, yo, this one was dope, man. Like, like a lot of punchlines and, you know what I'm saying, a lot of tension. Or what now? I could tell Sniper really wanted this one, like, for, uh, for the, from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So, um... We just gonna get right into this. You know how we break these battles down by a couple different attributes, and that's lyrical content, stage presence, performance, rebuttals, freestyles, and last but not least, bars landed. You know, and that's usually the most crucial one that depends on, you know, that makes the difference between a 3 0 and a 2 1, really. You know what I'm saying? How many bars did he really get in and land that hit with the crowd, that hit on camera, and really had an effect? You know what I'm saying? So. We about to get into these first round highlights from Holmes to God, and we gonna come right back with some reviews. Yeah. The correct spelling of sniper is S N I P E R. Yeah. Now I'm not about to come up here teaching y'all niggas. I'm just stating facts. But you spell your name S N Y P A, right? Come on, bro. How gay is that? I will come to a later just to put you in a hospital bed and lay you flat. But the way I do it. Niggas gonna think I'm correcting the spelling of your name because I will be Y. He's in the ER with an A is at. You're not gonna get one round though. Y'all Sold you with a clip like drug money. Moms, moms gonna be asking the docs what's up like Bugs Bunny, but my homies want my homies want to text in too. Nigga, even my best friend blew like Doug funny. And on the mic, I just happened to spaz. Think it's a game too. We in Tavares' career with nothing but ratchets. Turn that shit to a bachelor's pad. The shit you're Yeah, man, so, and we are back. I had to, um, I had to stop it right there, man. <laughs> I think that was enough, man. So, look, I gave Holmesy a five for lyrical content. I feel like he had some dope, uh, some dope wordplay with the punchlines and stuff. He was real direct in the beginning with the personals and, like, um, doing the bar with his name, saying, uh, actually, his actual government name in the bar or whatever. You know what I'm saying? The whole, um, my best friend Blue, like, Doug, uh, yeah, that shit, that shit was hard. Like, I, I like that, you know what I'm saying? Even with, um, the, the name flip, you know, with, uh, the spelling of his name, I will be why he is in the ER where the A is at. That was cool. The, the wordplay with it, the punchlines with it was dope. So, local content, I gave him a five stage presence. I gave him a five, projected itself very well. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, you know, he owned the stage. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it was pretty cool. I liked, I liked his first round. Um, performance, I gave him a four. Just because really he kept me he kept me watching. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, like I said, I didn't give him a five out of five just because... There wasn't nothing too spectacular, but he did keep me entertained. So, I gave him a 4 out of 5 for performance. And then total bars landed. He had 10 bars landed. So, that's round 1, Holmesy. Now, we about to get into these round 1 highlights. The Sniper. This wise art, he painting your eulogy. Enough said, fiend rings in the clip. That mean his baby boy a choke when a round wrap around his neck bone from a bull head. I can make that last line fire you when I'm blazing a chrome. Fake Melvin in the clip. Cause even when a round wrapped around his neck bone, the 50 was still licking his dome, nigga. I let a smith air you. You die. You lost agility around out you. Like Neo reviving Trinity. I'm too official. I said I've been a fighter. These extensions will change your future. Makai Pfeiffer off the turnbuckle. I'll address him after I let it ring. Rod Piper too.
Hey, and so those were first round highlights of Sniper Man. And, um, I gave him a five for lyrical content off the back. The thing, the thing about Sniper is he had them, them patterns with the wordplay and the punchlines in the end. You know what I'm saying? And he came right off the bat punching heavy. Like, you know what I'm saying? To where Holmes, he kind of had like like that four bar build up or whatever where you kind of like waiting to get to the punch. Like, you know, you was waiting with, with, with Sniper too. But the thing is, he got them patterns that's keeping you in tune more with the, with the wordplay or whatever. So I gave him a five for um, his lyrical content or whatnot. Um, like the the uh, the Ving Rhames, the Ving Rhames, the fifty was still looking his head like that was hard. Like you know what I'm saying? As far as like with the punchlines and the metaphors relating to the crowd, like throwing bars out there that the crowd to, can relate to, and still having the wordplay and the patterns with it. So like I said, that was dope. Gave him a five for lyrical content, stage presence. I gave him a five. This first round was actually kind of um kind of evenly matched. Like it was real debatable. Like they was like had the same in pretty much every category. You got what I'm saying? Including performance, it was the same thing. So the thing that edged this, the only thing that edged this round, you know what I'm saying, for Sniper was the fact that he had more bars landed. You know what I'm saying? I counted 14 bars landed for Sniper. So first round edge to Sniper. You know what I'm saying? And we about to go ahead and get into uh, the second round highlights. It's on Holmesy. Let's check it out. And it'll just be, it'll be just like how he was slobbering. I'll put this barrel in his biscuit and then the shit come dripping out his mouth. It's like, get what your dog trying just drop because everybody getting 50s and I'm putting hands on all you bitches. Like, everybody getting frisky, but it's hollow tips and these joints. But it's hollow tips and these joints. Just in case anybody want to trip me, this whole bitch will get ranked on like Jay Quan because everybody in this club getting tips. See, you about to do all that wordplay shit and still get blown out. That's because your punch is like, but nigga, I drop jewels that rock rooms like a Flintstone house. I Okay, and that was second round highlights from Holmesy, right? Now, um, you know, as far as like lyrically, he kept it up this round. He stayed pretty consistent, like throughout the whole battle, he stayed pretty consistent. You know, as far as lyrically, I gave him a five again for lyrical content. You know, I feel like he he came with the same thing again. You know, what I'm saying the punchlines and the wordplay to match. Sniper's wordplay first round, like it was like there, it wasn't really no no die down as far as like lyric lyrically, in in that second and shit. You get what I'm saying? So um, I gave him a five for the lyrical content. I gave him a five against the stage presence. Um, the only thing I kind of took some points away off of was his performance. Reason being, like I feel like he, he still did his thing. He did good, but like this this second round, like. Like I like I said, how he had that that four bar build up and shit. Like it was honestly more interesting in the first round. Second round, it gets a little tighter and he was taking longer to get to the punch. Like for example, that bucket hat line. Like the way he ended that shit was cold. You know what I'm saying? I had to force him to get the bucket off the glass like a layup. That shit was cold. But how long he took to get to it, like it is the problem. You know what I'm saying? So. But just for that, like, I kind of took his performance down for three just because it's like, you know, you kind of, like, start losing interest a little bit. But what he did was he was able to make up for that was that freestyle in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, about the water dripping, you know what I'm saying, off his beard and whatnot. So that was cool. I gave him an extra point for the freestyle and whatnot. So he, it kind of made, that kind of made up for the performance a little bit. The only thing is that the, the bar didn't really hit hard when he dropped the freestyle bar, you know what I'm saying? But hey, freestyle is a freestyle. So um I put that in there and overall total bars landed. He had eleven bars landed. So overall for this round, for the second round, I gave him a six out of ten. You know, which is like it's it's not not too bad, you know what I'm saying? Not eh. You know, not bad, not all the way good. But hey, it was cool. It was decent. So like I said I gave him a six for the second round. Now we about to go to uh Sniper, second round highlights, and um, yeah, let's get into it. I say the slugs hit you, disability got you a half moon like you born crippled, rounds in his mouth, like he's sitting on eyes in a dog whistle, I say what's good with you, I spot him when I'm holding a hammer, the bird make his set dip like dip set, his head tilt, that's Joel's bandana, I'm a fucker. Oh. Nutritional facts, I hate to react. Scuba Steve put a pump to his back. Triangle back. Triangle 
single barrel with both fives. Yeah, hopeless bet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that was second round highlights from Sniper, man, and like this whole second round, well, this whole battle was really nothing but wordplay and punchlines. Like, who can have, who had the the most hard-hitting punchlines and the best wordplay? And the thing what Sniper did with this is, like I said, with them patterns, them pattern, the word patterns he had, along with the punchlines, and this second line, this second round, he was really flowing a lot, like that, that I really caught. And his his punchlines, his haymakers was just a little bit more consistent. You get what I'm saying? I can serve him with one can nutritional facts, and like the, his build up, his build up. He like I said, he had a little build up, you know, just like Holmesy or whatever. But with that with the word play, that word play and patterns in between it kinda kept you interested rather than like that four bar, that four punchline bar build up and then get into it. You get what I'm saying? And he had flow. That that flow like you so you following everywhere he go, you following him to the next punchline. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, I gave him a five for lyrical content. Stage presence, I gave him a five again. It seemed like he came back a little bit more confident after his first round. You know what I'm saying? Going in. Um, I gave him a four for, for performance. I kind of didn't want to change it. After I just looked at it again right now. Um, because just because his sign language was dope. And like I said, like I do feel like he did a, a little bit better this time. The only reason I did give him a four, like just because he really stayed consistent, I still didn't think he did anything like extra amazing. But he did his damn thing. Like I said, I might want to change that to a five, but I don't know. I'ma just keep it where it's at for right now. And um, total bars landed. He had 16 bars landed, so he clearly got that round. You, um, like. You know, I, I thought the, the freestyle, you know, that Holmes he put in the beginning was gonna make a difference, which I think it would have made more of a difference had it hit. But the thing is it didn't hit or whatnot. So right now we at uh sniper 2-0. You get what I'm saying? This battle is so close, so close. And the performance aspects of it. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing that one didn't bring that the that one brought that the other didn't bring really. It was really just as far as who got more bars across this battle. And right now, Sniper is just hitting more. I'm not even going to say exactly harder, but he's hitting more. You get what I'm saying? So, we're about to get into the last deciding factor of this review, and that is the battle, which is the third round. So, Holmesy. Know who he got close. He wouldn't even be seeing me approach anymore. He thinks I'm an American pop. Why? Cause I'm gonna start busting soon as I get close to this pussy. Everybody got guns. And talking about how they be sparking with the nines. I really stay strapped. Keeping in the boot. And I be walking like a nine. On the low, I hate them boys cause they be stupid as shit. Nigga, I've been strapped for so long that I don't lick when it's tough because I'm used to this shit. <laughs> Okay, so those was the third round highlights from Holmesy. Um, this round, man, he kind of died down a bit. I gave him a four for lyrical content, the four for stage presence. I, well, I'm gonna say first, first of all, I gave him a four for lyrical content just because he's not. As this battle progressed, it seemed like he started to lose fire. You know what I'm saying? Like lose, lost fire in the pen, losing fire in, in his stage presence. Um, fire in the performance, it kind of like just declined slowly. He still didn't do bad, like you know what I'm saying, but it just wasn't enough. And you could tell that he was losing confidence, and that's why I also knocked him down to stage presence. And I gave him a four because I felt like he was he was a little bit, you know what I'm saying, paying a little bit too much attention to the crowd. Shit, nigga, fuck that. Yo, your opponent's in front of you, nigga. Black out. Black out. F the crowd. F them reacting. All that. Just get through your raps, man. Get through your raps and bring that same energy, whether they cheering or not. 
You get what I'm saying? Because honestly, man, it, it's not always what you say. It's how you say it. Some niggas don't be saying shit in the battle. Some niggas don't be saying shit in the battle. You know what I'm saying? And still win because of their aggressiveness. Like, so you got you to gotta bring it, man. You got to bring it. So I knocked him down. I gave him a four for that. Um, performance, I gave him three. A three again just because it was about the same as the last time. And I was a little bit more not engaged in the third round than I was the second. You know, so I gave him three for so performance, three out of five. And uh, total bars landed. He had eight bars landed. Um, Yeah, so it's not looking too good for this third round for Holmesy, man. I was hoping to give him one, at least one of these rounds throughout the battle. Uh, because it, it was a dope battle, you know what I'm saying? But when it's not enough, it's not enough. So, we about to go ahead and get into the uh, third round highlights of Sniper. Right here on the bar structure. Yeah. I said, yo, now this the round, but she gets bad. Wade Wilson, I'm back with two sticks, but I'd rather give him an SK. Once I black with two rounds like a Deadpool mask, my team on smash. You suited to get blue, but I'd rather leave your chance for an American dad. I'm posted with the two, on with heat. Let it flame across your score frame. Quan Chi, kiss of the dragon. Pool reaction, meaning I'm quick to kick around at your noggin like Jack Lee, the 40 bang. Let's see if your heart can beat from the fifth. Eddie Kane, the weapon race. For your enterprise, I'll bat him across the chest. Bruce Wayne, my shower caps. Your whole body gets soaked and put the deuce to the side of his neck like I'm checking his toes. <laughs> Okay, first of all, the thing I like about sniper wordplay in this um in this third round, I don't even know if like niggas really paid attention, but like all the different character flips he did from the Deadpool to the American Dad to the Batman shit, like that shit was hard. Um, it he he did his thing again. Like I said, you know what I'm saying. This fifth round, you know what I'm saying. Uh, crazy bars, crazy bars all over wordplay, all over. Again, saying bars that I feel like related to the crowd, like that the crowd can relate to, and as well as like his, like I said, his haymakers. Again, like he was consistent again, and he was just hitting more often, like hitting harder and more consistently. Again, so lyrical content, I gave Sniper a five. Stage presence, he still kept it pretty consistent. Um, I knocked him down one just because of that beginning. You get what I'm saying? Kind of started off kind of slow. You saw that he kind of was about to about to stumble. You know what I'm saying? But he came back and and did his thing. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't really a, a choke. But um, I gave him a four for that performance. I gave him a four just because like it was consistent again. You know, but he didn't really step it up from the second round. But it was still consistent. So with that being said, um, he also just had he had 11 bars landed. Not as much as the first two rounds. But hey, it still counts. It's three more bars landed, so he pretty much like. Why well, didn't say he edged this fifth round? Cause looking at all the other attributes, see, I gave him a six out of ten. That's where I gave home a four out of ten for his third round. So the ending verdict is sniper three zero, clean thirty. It was still a dope battle and everything, but. And like I said, they was evenly matched on a lot of different things. The only thing that made the difference was how many bars landed. You know what I'm saying? Um, Holmesy came through and did his thing, you know what I'm saying, lyrically and, and performance-wise, like stage presence-wise or whatever. But I feel like those those four-bar build-ups with, with shit like that, like he, he kind of like just kept us waiting for too long. But then... <clears throat> So, like I said, he kept his weight for too long. My thing with four bar build ups, like, if you're gonna do that shit, like, two to three out of two to three of them bars out of that, that four bar build up need to hit hard as fuck. You get what I'm saying? Like, the, the in between and the end need to hit hard as fuck so that you're keeping us through the, the whole scheme. You get what I'm saying? Because that was the only thing. Because, like, he couldn't keep my attention through the whole scheme as to where with, with Sniper's performance, or like his, his wordplay and his patterns made me pay attention to the scheme a little bit more. Like, because his words and his flow was going so so many different places. You boom, boom, boom. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then he leads you right to the punchline. So, that's what made the difference in this battle right here. 
Dope ass battle. Shout out to Bullpen Battle League. Shout out to Sniper. Homesy, Homesy the God. Um, this is the bunch structure. We're gonna have a couple more coming off this uh off this card off the of kills confirmed too. So stay tuned for more episodes and thank you for rocking with me. It's your man's Taz Bailey, the Trill Prince. Until next time.